knowing how to find information is fast becoming a crucial skill. This allows you to search data and facts without spending much time. We, internet geeks, even have a term for it, Google Foo. And here are some tips on how to become a Google Foo black belt. Okay, so let's do a quick walkthrough. So this is the Google page. This is where you search. Let's type how to Google. So the first result that we see is an instructional video, how to use Google search in 2017. Then the next result comes directly from Google. Let's go to that page. The page shows how to search on Google. We'll start with the basics, no matter what you're looking for, start with a simple search. And then it gives additional instructions that you can also use your voice to search. To choose your words carefully. For example, use headache instead of my head hurts because that's a more medical term for it. Then they also discuss the spelling. It says Google Spell Checker automatically uses the most common spelling of a given word. You don't have to spell it correctly for you to be able to search. Also, capitalization is not required. Then we see other options like to find quick answers for weather, dictionary, calculations, and other things. We'll discuss those later. And then the expert search tips, you can find the search operators. We'll go to that link. So clicking the link, we see refined web searches. There are options here like searching social media, searching for a price, excluding words from your search, combining searches, looking for specific sites. We'll check on those later. And then going back to the how to search on Google, we also see an advanced search option. Clicking the advanced search, Okay. We see there is an advanced search for websites. Let's go here. Looking at the advanced search, you see a lot of other options like all these words, this exact word or phrase, any of these words. So numbers ranging from, you can put in the number. Also, there are additional options like language, region, last update time, the exact site or domain that you want to search on, the terms appearing anywhere in the page or in the title of the page, and then do a safe search. You can also look for certain file types like PDF, uh, XLS, those file types. Also by usage rights, so you can find pages that are free to use yourself. First, we discuss the tabs. Once you search your keywords, it shows the results in the All tab initially. If you notice the tabs just below the search box, you will find images, videos, maps, news, shopping, books, flights, and finance. They are another way of filtering the results of your search. Images will show pictures related to your search. Videos will show video clips. These tabs do not have a set position. All is default as the first to be shown, but the sequence of the tabs depends on what you search. Searching for airlines would put the flights tab next to the all tab. Searching for Apple stocks shows the finance tab second. How to search on Google. Start with a few descriptive words. Spelling and capitalization do not matter in the search results. Google will also suggest the correct spelling if you misspell the word. Part here that needs to be highlighted is for finding quick answers. For dictionary, add the word define. Direct calculations can also be searched. Unit conversions can also be directly searched. Now we go to the additional ways to filter your search by adding search operators. Putting at social media will search the social media site. So let's search Singapore Airport at Facebook. 
prices can also be searched. This will show cameras around the price you searched. Hashtags can also be searched. If you want to exclude a word, put minus in front of the word you want to exclude. For example, here, we search queen. Then, we search queen minus band. Search for an exact match by putting the phrase inside quotes. Mostly, if you put the right keywords, you won't need to use this, but it's there if you need it. Search for a specific site by putting the word site, then colon, in front of the URL. So here we search for laptop reviews in youtube.com. Additionally, you can also search location to location to find flight prices. If you search Singapore to Manila, it will show the flight prices between those two places. Translate in other languages. If you search happy in Spanish, it will show us the Spanish version of happy. Or we can also search for specific files. For example, you want a handy dictionary that you can open without internet connection. You can search for dictionary with file type colon PDF. I hope you learned something from this video. Like and subscribe for more simple life lessons.